Hello guys, so in this video, we'll discuss what we have to do in week number six for CAD DILR weekly study plan, right? So in this week, we have to focus on the data interpretation as well. We have done much of the things from the logical reasoning uh, part. We have almost neglected data interpretation, but we put on hold for data interpretation. The only reason was that there was a lot of mathematical concepts involved in solving data interpretation. Mostly you'll be finding uh, the, the concepts of averages, percentage, working with ratios and all those things. So since till now, parallelly, you must have preparing for quant section as well. And within that, you must have gone through these topics. And because these are the prerequisite things, once you are done with the these concepts with a good amount of practice and you have uh, developed the confidence, then only you should go for the data interpretation. Otherwise, what will happen is that you'll understand these set, you'll do everything right. But while solving, you'll take too much of time because the calculation involved will trap you there. So how to handle such kind of calculation? It's the best way is to use the ratios or the percentage or their conversion between them. And that is the reason we kept these topic on hold. So now this is the right time to start in week number six, we have to focus on table graph. In CAT or in any MB entrance exam, table graph and bar graph are the most favored sets that appeared in exams from data interpretation section, right? Again, I have kept the time same. You have to solve somewhere around 15 or you can solve more than that also because this particular uh, sets or the sets on table graph will not demand too much of intricate logic from you. It will only demand that how do you pick the data, what the question is asking and using basic mathematics, you have to process the data to get to the desired answer. That's what the only thing needed because the data are given in the tabular formats. So you don't have to actually interpret any kind of graph as well, right? So as I said, the prerequisite is that you should be good with the concepts of averages, percentage and ratio, right? And you have to focus in these two areas. These are the only two things which you have to focus. Many a time the sets from data interpretation that is from table graph will have multiple tables, right? So some data will be given in say table A and some data will be given in say table B. So you have to read the data and as per the condition, you have to make connection in the data which is given in table A and how it is connected to table B, right? So such thing is very frequently uh, used in table graph, right? So this is the thing which you have to learn. The second thing that you have to pick the right data and as per the condition, you have to use the mathematical rules or mathematical formula to get to the answer. So as I said, this will not demand too much of uh, uh, reasoning from you, but it will only demand that how methodical you are in picking the data and right data picking as well as if there are multiple tables, what is the connection between these two tables, the, uh, the connection of data between these two tables and what particular mathematical uh, formulas or concept needed to arrive at the answer. This is the only thing which you have to do. So I have given enough sets on table graph because this is one of the important uh, sets as I said from data interpretation in CAT, right? So let me just show you that where you will be finding it. So you have to go to, so you have to go to this folder that is CAT DILR course. Within this, you'll be finding the fourth folder that is data interpretation practice sets with video explanation. You have to go inside it and the very first section is the table graph. So I have given you 32 sets and it's a good mix of easy, moderate and difficult level of sets, right? So, but in the first, uh, in the first round, you have to only solve the easy and moderate level of question. And you'll be finding that these sets are far, far easier compared to what we did in the logical reasoning section. And it will definitely boost your confidence in this particular section. 